Hi folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics and we're going to do take two of me coming and crafting in my new space. Last night's video wasn't so great with the lighting and the video and audio issues so hopefully I got things tweaked a bit. I got a little Wi-Fi extender and I turned over, off the overhead light and fixed my other light so I don't have that awful shadow. My forehead is big enough, it does not need any more attention. If you have not signed up for text alerts yet, please do so. The number's in the description. Actually, yeah, I put it in the description. It's 727-738-3038. And if you're okay with getting an alert after 10 p.m., type in Night Owl, even if you're already an existing member. That way I put you in a certain group and I only text you after 10. Hi, Amanda and Jody. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Shauna. Yeah, last night was like, oh man, I watched that video. I was like, good Lord. Hey, Shirley, Melissa, thank you guys for joining. I um, was just live, uh, well, I guess it was about two hours ago. Hey, Christine, evening to you. And Sherry, hello. I did a um, private live for, um, oh God, Funky Junk Royal Chicks. Uh, that's not the way it goes. But anyways, it was awesome. It was really fun. It was my first time doing a private group like that. Hey, my friend Sheila. So it was, it was fun. It really was. It was relaxing and good. Hey, Brenda and Marianne. Hey, Marianne, Connie, Sherry. Thank you guys so much for joining. We're going to do another storage <clears throat> deal. Hey, Dale from Nebraska. How are you? Oh, and if you're new, let me know so I can give you a proper welcome. I have this. Um, I've had this forever. I got... Hi, Diane. You caught me live. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Oh, I can see hearts and everything. All right, it's gonna be a good good live. <laughs> uh, hey, Kim. I got this at Hobby Lobby quite some time ago. Um, and I just was on the fence. I'm like, you know, how, how do I wanna decorate it? Do I wanna do it, you know, shabby chic and pink and what am I gonna use it for? And I don't know, all the things. So I just kept putting it back on the shelf. Hey, Debbie. And uh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you guys. Um, so, as I'm in my new space, I'm needing storage still. Hey, Sally, you're new. Well, welcome. I hope you love it here and you'll become a new friend and stay and follow. We have an amazing bunch here. I'm very proud to call them my friends as well. Hey, Sherry, many night owls. Yes, I love it. I was so excited with the response. Hey, Sandy, Lisa. So yes, welcome. I hope you love it here. Uh, yes, the crafters definitely, everybody supports each other. It's awesome. Hey, Tel Della. How are you? Your order went out today and your happy mail. Hey, Vaughn. Thank you guys for welcoming the newbies. So I ended up staining the inside with um, DIY Dark and Decrepit, which is similar to like an antique wax. Um, I just like the color of this a little bit more. And um, thank you so much. I got it at TJ Maxx a while back. Um, and I painted the outside. No, no perfect job because we're going to decoupage over it. Um, hey, Connie. Uh, Diane with um, DIY paint uh, burlap that's a chalk paint so thank you guys so I got this paper also a long time ago and I'm pretty sure I got it from uh, hey Sherry I actually remembered your name dang you beat me to it you have one of the half size and a huge pine oh, oh that's kind of cool that's kind of cool so glad you checked the text oh awesome awesome Excellent, excellent. So I got, this is a Roy Cycle paper, and I believe I purchased it from Chalk It Up Fancy, but there's a lot, a lot of um, people online that do sell Roy Cycle paper. That's what you would Google. Hi, Ronnie, how are you? Thank you for spreading the love and the sunshine and the joy. If you guys know anybody you think you enjoy my style, please feel free to sprinkle it with them. But this is like um, a vintage paper. I absolutely love it. It's totally up my alley. It's got all the, look at those corsets. I absolutely love all that. So that's what we're working with tonight. And this is a, a it's called Roy Cycles. So we are going to decoupage it on. I wonder if I should iron it. I think I'm going to because I'm going to seal this. I want to use it for, um, I got a bunch of these bottles. I already filled some of them up, but I got like different sizes, big ones and small ones. So the stuff I use the most, thank you, Connie. Um, that's what I kind of want to have like right here in the bottle. So you did watch a few, I've had this, I've been dying to use this forever and I didn't know like 
what to use it on. I mean, because really, it would make an awesome picture if you, you know, did one whole thing. Sometimes it's hard to cut it up. You don't know what to do. Hey, Ari, you love the paper? Yeah, it's um, it's Roy Cycled. I actually want to. I want to email her and see if I can somehow uh, be a Roy. Uh, R O Y, and you got the rest right. Yeah, Sally, but it's R Roy as in R O Y. Um, to see if I could carry some of her papers because she has some amazing, amazing papers, different sizes, and all oh, their their paper is very good. Hey, Deborah, how are you? <clears throat> all right, so let me see what we want. I want to get the good stuff. Well, it's all good, really. <laughs> it's like old um, newspaper print. Like, oh, thank you for sprinkling, Sherry. Thank you so much, Sherry. I don't know why. I was like almost asleep and I was thinking your name was, um, not Sherry, um, now I'm drawing a blank. It'll come to me. But anyways, yeah, it was bothering me because I thought I was calling you the wrong name. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. My brain's been on overdrive lately. I think we'll go with, let's see, we got two big sides, so we're going to have to course it to decide what yeah I know I know Michelle where do you cut it I'm gonna cut it right in the middle I wonder if these corsets are big enough to go on the side oh they kind of are okay so I think I'm gonna save that if I can for the side <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work out but we'll see we'll see so I guess we might as well start where it's logical that sounds logical so I'm thinking right here ish so, I can't wrap it around because the sides are, you know, different. I wonder if I could actually line it up perfectly straight when I get it on here. That'd be nice. I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to try. And I'll have to go a little over so we can stand off the bottom. Hey, Gail, thank you for joining. I do have a lot going on. Things are getting better, though. This, this move was pretty, <clears throat> pretty big, pretty daunting. It's nice to have my living room back though guys I like we we had purchased a new sofa um, real nice like first time I've ever gotten leather and it reclines and it's got the headrest that reclines I think we got it like in November of last year maybe and we haven't really been able to sit on it since I don't know like February or March I hate that I have to cut it <laughs> yeah well yeah, if I don't cut it, then I'll never use it. And what's the point of buying it if you're not going to use it? You know, the struggle is real. <laughs> but I do have this, um, I want to do that soon. Because I want, I think I want to hang it up over here. I've got a, um, the frame is less than desirable, but it's pretty huge. I think it's 20 by 30. It's just the... Is it 20 by 30? Yeah, so it's a big frame. I have a, um, a paper. I don't know if it's recycled or not, but it's a, um, an old eye chart. It's really cool. It's kind of these colors. So I want to I want to put that on there. And I've never done something that big. I think I don't think I need to decoupage it. Actually, I could just stick it in the frame. So yeah, I don't need to do that online. Now I can't see where my creases are. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, there they are. Oh, I can't really see them from that side. That's weird. Hey, Joanne again. How are you? That was a fun live. Thank you. I really enjoyed that. Seeing there your 19-year-old daughter. Aw. Aw. Aw, I'm so sorry. We had to... Hey, Faith. We had to put ours down last October. It's so painful. Oh, so painful. I'm gonna cut it right on the line. What the heck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brave. As long as this crease doesn't disappear on me, we'll be all right. Cause it's uh, kind of hard to see. So hopefully, hopefully, I'm on it. Might have to recrease it. I'm gonna re <laughs> recrease it. Bust your page. Oh, thank you, Faith. Hey, Karen. How are you? If I missed anybody that jumped on, hello. Thank you for uh, joining. I appreciate it much. Ooh, 
hair stuck in my bracelet. Yeah. Oh, I was on the line. I'm doing good so far. That's not on the line, though. Yeah, we did the burn technique on a hello sign and some solo wood flowers. Hey, Juanita, how are you? Thank you for joining. I hope you're feeling a little better today, my friend. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of sad cutting this. Yeah, I don't know if they're, are they a toolbox, garden belt box? I guess it'd be any kind of box. It's going to be a storage box for us. So, who knows? For now, might turn it into something else in the future. Who the heck knows? Alright. Can't see my other line. There it is. I gotta cut this one first. It's too big to stick this entire thing on there, so hopefully. My thinking is right here. If not, then we just cut another piece. What can I do? <laughs> what can you do? So sorry to hear this stuff. Oh, I know. That is so terrible. I know. Oh, our pets, I'll tell you. I feel like they're the only beating heart on the planet that are always happy to see us. I'm still not ready. Oh, I cut this one crooked as heck. I'm still not ready for another pet. Just not yet. That last one hurt bad. I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Hopefully I don't get any of those prank calls. I've been getting them like crazy lately. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. See how I did. That's good. Good enough. Whatever excess, we'll just sand it off. Not bad. So I am going to use some DIY patina. I'm going to think I'm going to do this half at a time. Like this half and then the other half instead of um, the whole thing. Hey, Cindy, you're not late as long as you're here. You didn't miss anything. I just, me trying to cut a piece of paper. <laughs> Probably pretty painful to watch anyways. You lost yours. Oh, Faith, I'm sorry. The only thing is, is these little caps are hard to get off. You need to push... Uh, you gave me a mad face? I didn't see it. It's okay. I've been getting a lot of those lately, but I know a lot of them are an accident. Some of them maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'd rather have the happy ones. I didn't see it, so you're good. <laughs> hey, Shannon. Welcome, welcome. All right, so this is just DIY patina. It's just like a Mod Podge or uh, a medium. So we're just going to paint some of that on. Throw our look how light this DIY or this DIY teen, uh, DIY paint gets, or brighter I should say, darker when it's wet. I love it, love it, love it. I need more, of course. The box is from Hobby Lobby. I peeled the tag off and it said wood pile. I've had it for a while, um, but it's de it was definitely Hobby Lobby. Definitely, definitely. I don't remember what how much it was. I'm sure it was when the wood was um, uh, the forty percent off or whatever. I know, I know. Why do they have the mad face? What's the point? Why stir the pot? You know, if you don't give the mad face, you wasn't give people an opportunity to use it. Hey, Lisa, how are you? We are just decoupaging a toolbox slash garden box we're gonna put um we're gonna put these uh you know, like the ketchup and mustard type these squeeze bottles in there among some other stuff glue and whatnot hey lisa you're very welcome you're very welcome so we're using this like vintage paper you know i don't even mind i kind of want this wrinkly I don't want it that's why I painted I didn't paint it white because I didn't want it to be bright bright I want it to be more like you know older looking that's why I painted it the burlap color so if there are wrinkles I do not mind but I did mind the wrinkles in my forehead last night with that lighting that was terrible two box came from the wood shop that's cool 
Oh, that's very cool, Anita. Yeah, I don't know what they do anymore either. That's interesting. Very interesting. Guys, there is so much coming up with events. Um, I should have wrote them down to tell you about them all. Um, I think the next two weeks, it's like event city. Lots and lots of crafters and creators and all kinds of good stuff going on. And also for the craft around the clock, um, that is now on Amazon Fire as, as well as Roku. You like the late night crafting? Awesome, Gia. Me too. Oh, I got to set my scrappy timer, you guys. What am I going to remember like this? Like, <laughs> what is wrong with me? And I messed something up in the other group. I know I picked three winners and somehow I ended up with four addresses. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. I'm not even going to try to figure it out. So I'll just send <laughs> some, someone got a free uh, happy mail. So good for them. Maybe they need it. I was going to iron this, but I don't know if I really should. I guess the only reason I would is for it to dry. What's the beads hanging behind me? So that's, that looks really cool. I like it with the dark wood. I love it. I love it. Um, Cindy, the beads I made are, um, the turquoise is a, um, a stain wash that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And, um, on the end is the green man in a green face mold. It's really cool. And I put those in the, um, uh, the stain wash as well. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Let me set this timer. It's 1040. 1040. All right. 1040. Is that like 104? 1040? Thank you very much. Hey, Lisa, how are you? I'll wait, try to load a bunch. Hmm, thank you, Cindy. I'll wait till they unload a bunch. Yeah, they did um, quite a few. Let me, I'm gonna iron this just a little, just to dry it. Cause it's pretty wet. But I love how this is looking. Hi again, Michelle. <laughs> thank you for joining. Hey Tracy, my sweet friend, how are you? Thank you, Lisa. What am I going to win? What are you going to win, Ginny? <laughs> You're my funny friend. You're my funniest friend, Ginny. No one, I don't think, can take your funny title from you because you always make me laugh and I love that. I'll tell you what, Ginny, if you win, it's going to be something very special and very funny. Oh, that's funny. Judy Becker, are you from Hillsboro? Hey, Shirley. Love my little pink iron. I got it on Amazon. I think they're like 12 or 13 bucks. It works. This is like my favorite thing to do with it because it dries this Mod Podge up underneath super quick. Super duper quick. It's almost like it sucks the moisture out of it because your, con your uh, parchment paper gets like wrinkly, like damp looking. Hey, Kathy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Kathleen is new from Texas. Well, welcome. I hope you like my style and you want to stay and become a new friend. You have, yeah, pink wasn't my first option, but that's what my husband picked out, so can't do much for a few. Yes, I hope you love it here. We have an gr amazing group of men and women, and I hope you, you stay. Where did I purchase the paper? Sheila, I think I have had that um, for a long time, but I think I actually ordered that specific paper from Craft uh, Chalk It Up Fancy. Um, it's a Roy Cycle paper, and if you Google it, there's a lot of people who um, sell it, and you can go online, hey, Sheree. Um, <laughs> oh, Connie. Um, uh, it's Roy Cycled. If you Google it, Roy Cycled, a lot of people sell it online, but there, you actually might have somebody in your town that has like a brick and mortar that might sell it as well. Yeah, we couldn't get that lucky for that piece to fit, could we? Yeah, no. Look how cute it is, too. It's all the ducks and I don't know what. Um, no, it's plug-in, Cheryl, and um, the plug does fall out on it. 
but a lot of people, um, <laughs> I'm on again, I told you I would be, um, a lot of people use the iron from Walmart, which is similar to that one, it's bigger, and I'm sure it's better, but, um, yeah. Oh, I like this. I like this way much. I like this picture here. Yeah, let's go with this. That way we can go right down my line. I'm not used to working with such a big paper. Yeah, my next one, I mean, this one's been really, <laughs> see the plug just fell out. This one's been really good to me, but um, I don't, I can't hot glue it because it gets hot and it, I don't think that would work. And my husband even tried to take vice and like put the prongs together. It, it just won't, but I feel like it's a good workout for me when I use it. <laughs> it's the only exercise I get is plugging my iron in. But when that one does see its day, I will, I, I'm going to get one from Walmart. Just because I think it's a little bit bigger would be a little bit better. So you got mine like, oh, cool. I am from Florida, Sheree. I sure am. I am from the Tampa Bay Clearwater area. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and you know what happened today, guys? We had a storm. Here's another reason I'm so thankful that I'm in here. Normally, I'd be craft around the clock TV Mondays or Tuesdays, you know, between 4.30 and 5.30. The biggest storm ever. And it hailed. I've been here over 30 years, and I think that's the second or third time I've ever um, seen it hail. And it was like big chunks. I was like, holy moly. And then um, the 7 o'clock uh, live I did, I would have had to cancel because it was, it stormed again, so... Lise from Indiana, how are you? Yeah, I always make sure I read that right. You love this paper? Yep, this is Roy Cycled paper. Lots of towns, snow power. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Why is this one so much longer? That is, I don't think I cut it that far off, but I guess maybe I did. Huh. Or maybe I got a lot hanging over on the other side. I'm not really sure. So, dang, we can't get the whole picture in there, but that's okay. We're just going to have to do what we got to do. <laughs> Where do you live for such bad weather? Connie, I live in central Florida. Can't wait to do this. Sh Cherie, that's what I was thinking your name was. Cherie. Sherry. <laughs> the heck? You're in Brevard, uh, Brevard County? Oh, the Space Coast. Very nice. Very nice. Wait till you get that. Oh, I've seen the baseball size. Uh, no, I've never seen the golf ball size, not baseball size. But wow. Wow. Yes, thank you on the paper. Um, you can just Google Roy Cycled, and there's there's a lot. They're, they're not that expensive either, guys. I want to say anywhere from three to five bucks, and they come in, like, lots of different sizes. Um, so it gives you a good opportunity to, uh, you know, sometimes I feel overwhelmed when I get these big pieces because, like I said, I don't want to cut it. I don't know what to do with it. Just look, it's not that expensive. Let's see the one you're using. Uh, Shirley, look, you looked on Amazon for the little mini iron? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying, Deborah. It's a sh in like cherry? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, Sherry. Not Sherry. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I just was thinking about it last night for whatever reason. You got tornado. That was like tornado weather, no doubt. But luckily, it was nothing. But it was. We've had some nasty, nasty afternoon storms lately. Like real nasty. Like coming down sideways. I told you yesterday I got stuck at Target, and then I finally was like, "Screw it, I'm going." And I got drenched. Came home, put my stuff away. I passed a kidney stone. <laughs> I haven't passed the stone in a long time I'm a producer so I kind of go in these spurts where I pass a whole bunch of them um, there's times I pass like a hundred in one year I'm not even exaggerating um, I'm in Oklahoma when you get the crazy weather just uh, yeah I guess I guess you get used to it oh geez Hobby Lobby had those irons um, Connie, not, I don't think anybody in the U.S. sells these irons. I think they come from China, um, because you get one of those weird, um, dates when you're going to get it, <laughs> and, um, I don't know if I'm cutting this straight at all. 
Um, but just, um, just uh, Google mini craft iron or mini iron on Amazon. Not Google, yeah, Amazon. Oh, the paper I'm using. No, not the iron I'm using. Plus, we the paper here in Canada. Um, you can get the paper. Okay, good, good. Yeah, um, no, I, knock on wood, a lot, I mean, yeah, they hurt, but not like I have to go to the hospital. Um, I don't think that will work either because of the shape of it. See how it is? I mean, this thing gets kind of hot. It's like, I don't know if you could see, but it just, there's no way to do it. There's nothing to wrap it around. Like, it's just plastic. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? So it's just, there's nothing really you can do but, but pull those prongs together. So, yeah. Um, yeah, um, Sheila has that one in, from Walmart, and she loves it. So I'm, I want to get that one, too, when that one dies. But, yeah, the, I've been passing the kidney stones for so long that, I mean, they hurt, but I know what's happening, so you're not freaked out. I think knowing is, is part of, you know, the, what's going on. It makes you feel better. You've ended up in the ER twice. Yeah, I've ended up in the ER a couple times. I've had several procedures with a lithotripsy where they knock them out of you. And uh, no, duct tape won't work. <laughs> Not on this one. Works on everything else, right? Um, I've had the lithotripsy done. I've had them have to go in and get, you know, get it, retrieve a few. Um, yeah, the Walmart, the Walmart iron is, is real good. And um, yeah, and I've had a couple that, as a matter of fact, the last time I was in the ER was after a lithotripsy. He had done my right side. And I was bruised so badly and so swollen that he said, well, I'll take it a little more easy on this side this time. Well, he did, and um, I wasn't as bruised and all, but he knocked them out, but they ended up forming into a clump. This is so crazy. They formed, they all formed, they broke up and then they all formed into their own clump. And, um, oh my God, I woke up one morning. I had only been asleep. I worked the night before and I had only been asleep a little while. And I woke up to use the bathroom, and then right after I did, it, it was like, oh, that sensation, like it's, it's, it's coming, <laughs> it's passing. And um, my daughter ended up taking me over to the ER. It's right across the street, and um, I ended up passing it, the whole clump, um, before they even called me in. How I did that, I have no idea, but that was scary. That was really scary. But... I didn't even know they could do that. So luckily, I'd rather them be out than in. Your feed keeps freezing. Maybe go out and come back in. I'm hoping it's not me. I know we had some issues last night, um, but I added the Wi-Fi extender and um, switched my lights. Yeah, it, you know, it's a relief. It's, the minute you pass them, it's a relief. But that sensation when it's about to pass, it's like, I can't even explain it. Am I freezing or being weird for anybody else? Because um, I still have the garage door open. I'm afraid to shut it. But I do want to try and, um, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I do want to try it with the door shut. Um, that way my husband doesn't have to tiptoe around. But, um. And if I have to get the cable guys out here to get me a new, um, you know, another router, I'll do that. I have, um, thank you. I have one myself and my husband, uh, between him, him and I, he has three. So we have four total. And then we raised our nieces and nephews there for a while. So at one point we had seven teenagers. It was horrible. Surely, I work in, um, I work for a financial firm. I work in IT and I work, I'm off, I'm on vacation this week is why I'm on tonight because I work from six at night to four in the morning. No freezing and the lighting is great. Oh, thank you, Monique. How are you? Oh, my, my lighting last night. I almost wanted to delete that video. It was so bad. So bad. <laughs> like, what the heck? Oh my goodness. Thank you guys. Yeah, I can imagine 
why it would hurt worse for a man because that's the sensation that you that you get um, it's just like almost like a spasm oh oh I'm yeah it, yeah it was very expensive Gail and the state was no help with that whole deal so it, it was our nieces and nephews and it, it was just a mess but um I think if you know what's going on, you know it's a stone, like I said, I think you have a better, you can deal with it. Because if you didn't know, you'd be like freaked out. But um, <clears throat> I my first one was in 19, I think 1998. But um, yeah, yeah, for almost four years, we had all teenagers. In our house with one bathroom. How we did it, we, my husband and I look at each other like, how do we do that? I'm tired now, but... I like night shift over yes I'm not a day shift person it's probably why I've been at my job so long because I do work nights I just can't it's just a couple of us and we get along great and so it's nice yep but the, but the kidney stone comes down to um, being genetic I have a messed up gene so there's nothing that can be done about it because if you do are, are a frequent um hey beth ann thank you for joining appreciate you um you can change your diet it you know like that's why they analyze your stones to see what they're made up of and mine are like the common calcium oxalate but um you know you can you can do a diet to help with all that but in my case none of that's going to work so it's okay as long as i'm not in the hospital and i pass them i'm fine with that so, yeah. Oh my goodness, Shannon. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. One. It, our dinners consist of like a loaf of bread, you know, pound and a half or two pounds of noodles, a pound of burger. It's just crazy. But I guess you do what you have to do when you're faced with it. You know. It was only. Thank you, Beth Ann. I got this at TJ Maxx a while back. It's kind of wrinkled, but I think it's supposed to be wrinkled, but not like <laughs> this wrinkled. Should I iron it? <laughs> it's the only iron I do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And there goes the cord. Yeah, it was only supposed to be six weeks. That's such a, a whole long another story, but I, I, I'm a true believer in that things happen for a reason. I mean, there's a reason those kids were sent to us. What? I have no idea. All right, so there's what we got so far. You guys see, that's the one side of the box. I'm loving this. I love the color. I love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna sand this little bit off that I do have because so we can do the sides. We knew the sides. If I knew where the sandpaper was. Just gonna use, I don't even know what this is. It's kind of like a medium grit. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Robin. Yes, amen. Yep. And um, like I said, the state was no, 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 no help at all. The kids had nothing. They just dropped them off with a garbage bag. And I mean, I'm talking like nothing. No toothbrush, no nothing. Thank you, Connie. Well, I did this side pretty good. We don't have much overhang at all. A little bit there. A little bit there, a little bit there. So those of you who have not decoupaged before, thank you, Ari. Um, when you sand off your edges, you want to sand like away from your project, not this way. You don't want to peel it up or scuff it up. But it comes right off beautifully, gives you a nice edge. Nice edge. I'm gonna store my bottles in here. My ketchup bottles. <laughs> thank you, Cynthia. Ah, thank you, Sherry. We try. We try. It's uh, it's nice to just be him and I. It's it's. He had foster kids for two months this summer. Ah, he was a. <laughs> oh, sorry, Shannon. Yeah, some of them can be. Some of them can be. That's for sure. That is for sure. Especially teenagers. I mean, I think back at myself, and I was I was a jerk. I was definitely a jerk. 
Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be good to keep it on the counter here. Before, on my little desk, I couldn't have any good stuff like this on there. This wasn't enough room. It's like only my project and that's it. Did I get all that? Okay. So see how nice of an edge it gives? I don't know if you guys can even see. Oh, I didn't even do that. <laughs> Look how nice it is. I didn't even do it. I forgot that one. There we go. How about that one? <laughs> you see there? It's nice. I really love the. This is the first time. Well, maybe the second time. I used the DIY uh, dark and decrepit to stain it. I love the color. You need a box like that? Yes, Brenda, you do. You should get yourself one. You go. Yes, I. Hey. Yes, I am. I am going again. I told y'all I was. We are going to Old Town tomorrow, so I won't be able to go live. Um, we're coming back late Friday night. I can barely even stream a live video, like to watch one up there, so going live is not an option, which is probably good. Yep, he's got me. There's a reason. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. He's my best friend. My best friend. My only friend. He's my only friend. <laughs> Hello again, Beth Ann. Uh, I gave it 12 foot. No, I have a 7 foot table. Feels like 12 foot after being at that desk, which my desk was. Oh, good. No freezing there. Um, my desk, I think, was 4 foot. So maybe it was smaller because this is, this seems so much bigger. I feel like I could just, I could dance back here. <laughs> Same sounds. It, it is pretty. I like. I really like it. Oh, I missed a little corner there. We'll have to get that. Let me get that. Let me get that little corner. We're gonna um. We're gonna seal it after this too, though. So. You ah yes, you guys are my my favorite friends. <laughs> oh, my virtual friends. You never know. We could meet one day. It's happened. It has happened. We did the meet and greet in Arizona, so you never, never, never know who you're going to meet. Let's see where I did, where I didn't do. Okay. Looking good. I don't even think I have to do the bottom. I think that's it. That's all I see. Anyways. All right, let's hit the sides. Get this junk out of here. Yeah, you're my neighbors. That's right. Pasco County. We'll be driving through there tomorrow. Um, you go to, Diane, have you been to, um, what the heck, it's, uh, Rural King before? You wanted to go to Arizona, so Valley. Aw. Oh, that's cool, Shannon. Awesome. I love her. All right. Let's see if, what we can get going on this one. I want to use these bosoms, but they're right in the middle. They're right in the middle. But I think I'm going to go for it anyways, because I love the corsets. But, oh, there's a corset over here too, see? Or can you see? I don't know. I don't know how much of this you can see. Lots and lots of goodness. You're never frozen on my end, your ladies. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Oh. So, yes, my lighting last night was horrific. Oh, that's cool, Tammy. Thank you, Diane. All right. Uh, yeah, that bosom isn't going to work too good. <clears throat> Unless we put it, yeah. I'm cutting the bosoms out. That's it. Final decision. I'll save all my scraps for something else. Yes, I do too. I really, this is my style for sure. This ought to be an interesting cut, huh? Let's see. All right. Let's crease it the best we can and at least get one cut going. Somehow. Somehow, some way. This is probably not the best way to do this. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, I'm going to cut the lady and her Aunt Jemima off. Dang, she's cute. I almost want to draw with a pencil because this is kind of a crazy cut. I don't know how it's going to come out. So let's see. Let's see what that does for me. Dear bird. Thanks, Connie. Haven't cut it yet, so. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to put this in there so it doesn't dry up on us. All right. Uh, so hard to see that. There we go. That's a little better. And it's hard to see the creases. Let's see what we can do. And I think what I'll do is if this matches the other side. Oh, see now I lost the line already. If this matches the other side, <coughs> then I'll, um, I'll, I'll make a pattern of this before I put it on, so we don't have to do this again. Oh, Beth Ann, congratulations. You are the winner of Scrap Peas Mail. PM me your address. PM me your address, and I will send you some Scrap Peas Mail. Congratulations. <laughs> Doing fine cutting. <laughs> oh. We'll see. We'll see when we uh, go to match it up. Hello, friends. There's my Connie. My other Connie. I got lots of Connies. Only one funny Ginny, though. One funny Ginny. 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 One sweet Sheila. This doesn't look straight at all. What is going on here? Oh, I got a, I got a lip or something over here. All right, I'm gonna have to stop somewhere right around there. Oh. Yes, congrats. Aw. Um, I think I, I think I set the timer again. Hold up. Hold up. Now I set the timer again. I was thinking in my head I wanted to. <laughs> Hello from North Carolina. Tracy, I don't think I said hi to you. And I love the way you spell your name. It's amazing. Guys, I cannot see this line. I'm going to line this up again. Aw, oh, thanks for spreading the love. Where are we? Is it obvious I've never done a big paper like this before? Oh, I was pretty close, pretty close. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I didn't realize there was a little dooficky here. Oh, that's already, that's already cut. Uh. Yep, if any of you guys just ordered uh, what's today? When? What's today? Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. Uh, if you ordered yesterday or today, it went out today. So thank you very much for your support. The gingerbread bread men sold out, but there's more on the way. So that's fantastic. Fantastic. I can't wait to craft with those little guys. Hello from Ontario, Canada. Betty Ann, how are you? Good evening. Good night, Sherry. I hope you sleep wonderfully and have amazing dreams. I'll see you soon. All right. Cut it while I can still see it. Right. I'm not sure what to do about this weird part. I think I'm just gonna like cut around because I don't know I can't see that little shelf area probably wouldn't be a big deal if I just didn't even decoupage it because the color of the paint I can't wait to get your new stuff you ordered Aw, thank you Sheila 
That's a nice variety of stuff. Hey, Debbie, how are you? There's a lady we met in Arizona, Debbie Ragsdale. That was so fun. I think I might have screwed this side up, but that's all right. Whatevs. Whatever. My goodness. Cut it like a professional. Watching from Illinois, where are you? Aw, oh, thank you, Marlene. I am from Florida. Florida. You gotta get you one. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Look at this, got wings. <laughs> oh. All right, I can see it a little better now, I think. I think I'm just gonna glue this down that the way it is and I'll sand these off, but I'm gonna trace another piece with this. Let me cut this off. Cut this bottom off. This kind of landed perfect on the wording. So you guys are just joining. We got an, an alarm set. If I see your comment when the alarm goes off, you'll win some scrappies mail. Look, we got a nice news article to read. <laughs> um, Reminder to check the other side. Yes, thank you. Um, if you're not signed up for text alerts yet, you should. Um, if you don't mind being text after 10 p.m., just type in Night Owl. If you already are a member and you don't mind being text after 10 p.m., just text uh, Night Owl and I'll put you in a special group. Um, the number's in the description and it's also 727 732-3038. Hey, Laura. I have been fabulous. I am glad you caught me live as well. Can't wait to look through this paper. Where did you get the box? Brenda, I got the box from Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Tina. Hi, how are you? Hey, Carol from Virginia. Um, yep, I got it at Hobby Lobby in it's uh, the wood pile, but I got it a while ago. But I would imagine you could find them probably any craft place. I don't know. I guess they would be seasonal. Maybe not. You're a night owl. Yeah. I was really surprised. Yes, you are. What is your website for shopping? Bethann, it's scrappiesrustics.com. You'll have to check it out. There's a, some good stuff on there. Um, nice variety, I think. I think I'm going to have an auction. I think that's going to be my next big... I don't know what piece of paper to use here, guys. This is why I'm having troubles here. Um, I think that's gonna be my next big thing is to have an auction so I can unload some of this stuff. Um, you're very welcome that I've got piling up. I mean, you can only hang so much stuff up in your house. It's, I've got tubs full of stuff. Where did I get the paper? I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe I got it from Chalk It Up Fancy. Um, it was a while ago, but you can, um, I'm just going to use this corner. This is stupid. What am I doing? Actually, I'm going to use this corner. Um, it's Roy Cycled Paper, R-O-Y, um, and you can Google it, and there's lots of, um, there's lots of people out there that do sell Roy Cycled. So we're not going to get that lady in there anyways. Yeah, I probably won't have help, Bethann, but it'll be my first. We'll just have to be patient. I certainly will let you know about the auction. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. All right, so I'm just gonna trace this out with my handy dandy pencil. It's gonna be a lot of work. I know that. Yes, I will certainly let you know. As soon as I know, you know. And I think, not positive, but I was thinking maybe the easiest way for everybody um, would maybe some of this stuff's already on the website so maybe if I do it I just trying to change the wording and change the price and all that kind of stuff you could purchase it right from the website I'm not sure if that's the best idea or not but I'm still floundering around I'm waiting also to hear back from I want to do some proceeds to go to um, the SPCA which is right down the road from my house um, so I want some of the money to go with that, to that. <laughs> Can't even trace right. You wanna know, oh, good, good. 
Yes, I will certainly let everybody know. Because if I don't, then I'll be sitting here by myself. <laughs> I'll be auctioning off to myself. Yeah, I'll take it. It's just getting to the point where it's it's just too much. It's just too much. So I need to do something. I still, I'm still not sure about this weird corner. But whatever. I don't think it goes to a point like that either. All right, it's all good. Close is good. Close is good. Um, oh, I'm cutting right into her bosoms. All that's left is her face. Sorry, lady. I will save all of these scraps because I'm Scrappy's Rustics. <laughs> you love my stuff and just oh, thank you, Judy. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, the auctions are exciting. I know they're a lot of work, but I'm not afraid of work. Look at that one. Almost looks like it should fit perfect, but I kind of have my doubts here. <laughs> Too much for you, but not for ah. I know. I feel like now. Oh, I did that one pretty dang good. Go me. Um, I feel like now that I'm out here, like I have more freedom, the next thing I need to do is just be able to shut that door and be confident. I almost want to do it, but I'm afraid. All right, so this is going to go on the one side, the corsets, and then breakfast, cocoa, and a half a lady. <laughs> oh, I really, I love these colors together. I think it came out really nice. Make sure my iron, ooh, that iron does get warm. Warm, warm, warm. Use that one to cut the other side. Yeah, I did. I traced it. Is that what you mean? Because that was not probably, that wasn't fun for me, so I'm sure watching that wasn't a good time either. Aw. My bag went in the glue. Good gravy. Hold up. Hold the bus. Time out. Covered in glue. Throwing out the scraps. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's super sticky. Yeah, I save everything. It's bad. But th that's good stuff. You can totally, totally reuse those. All right, I'm just going to get this this big edge on, and then we'll do a little bit at a time. And this is DIY patina. Same as Mod Podge, but better, in my opinion. It's all glue, no matter how you look at it. I know what you're saying about having so much finish up. I know, Marianne, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, you know, some stuff, I have some stuff hanging up, but, you know, I, I need to start parting, parting with some of them. <laughs> Send them on their way to a nice loving home. Okay. Now you certainly could have or I could have cut a bigger, which maybe I should have done. I don't know. I'm sure there's different and better ways to do this, but you could have cut a bigger one and just sanded it off that way. Maybe I will the next one. I don't know. I don't know. I figure if we just get the job done, it doesn't really matter how you, how it, what it took to get there. <laughs> as long as you get it done without injuring yourself. Good times. I still can't believe that hail today. My husband and I were out here. I don't know what we were doing. We were admiring that it was raining so hard and it wasn't really loud in here. And um, surely I'll answer you. Um, and it was like, I heard ping, ping, ping. I'm like, what the heck? Is that hail? Sure enough, there's a big old wrinkle. Surely um, it's a DIY product. I get my DIY stuff. Um, from um, Mara at Vintage Retail Therapy. Um, that's her website. And she has a, a page, um, Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara is her Facebook page. And her website is Vintage Retail Therapy. But you can um, totally Google DIY. You might even have a stockist in your area that you can walk in and get it. Pretty popular stuff. Um, would you ever burn the edge? Yeah, 
I, and even when it's wet, we could burn the edges. We could totally do that, yes. Yeah. Just place my order for a few. Oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Deborah Ragsdale. Thank you, Tina. I will get it filled ASAP. Right when we get off of here. All right. Yep, so I'll be back Friday night. I guess we might as well just do the rest of this. We made it this far. Okay. I'll put my bag on my hand. When do you have to be back to... Uh, Sheila, I go back on Monday. Actually, no, I'm on call. Ooh, I forgot. I'm on call. Um, thank you, Lisa. Yes, check it out. Scrappiesrustics.com. Um, I'm on call Sunday from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. Hope they don't call. <laughs> um, yeah, for three weeks. So it's better than every week. I guess I got to do my part, too. So I'm just going to trim it up where these weird things are and try to make it uh, fit right the best I can here. Let's see what's going on. Woo. All right, good. That worked out. Oh, next comment. Next comment's going to win scrappy mail. There it is. Sheila Watson Wilson. Oops, I hit snooze again. Dang it. Congratulations, Sheila. You win scrappy mail. PM me. Your address. I'll get you something out. Oh, aren't they adorable, Sheila? Um, I just ordered more. Those sold out like lickety split. Like, I was shocked. Happy, but shocked. If you really, I have one. If you want one now, I'll put it back on there. Um, just PM me what you want to do. Because I do have some more coming in. Probably should be in by the end of this week. Um, how often do I go live? Uh, Tracy, uh, was it Tracy? I don't know who asked me that. I, at least twice a week. I'm going to try my best. I'm like, where's my parchment paper? Oh, I'm crafting on it. Um, uh, twice a week, but I'm going to try to do more. Um, the next two weeks is going to be like crazy town with all these events and all kinds of stuff going on so you'll be seeing a lot of me so hopefully that's a good thing there goes my cord yes congratulations um like i said hopefully out being out here will give me more opportunity as well especially with the weather that really had me stressed out you know not being able to go live because of the rain and then worrying when you're on live is it gonna rain so hard you gotta abort the mission? I actually got very lucky. Very lucky each time it did rain. It was about to rain, so I'm thankful for that. All right, she loves that it made your evening. It's really the least I can do, you guys. I mean, you show me your support and your love and you hang out with me and you encourage me to keep going, so the least I can do is send you a little card. I mean, maybe some cord drive you crazy three times. It's my workout, Shirley. That's how I work out. It's my aerobics. <laughs> gotta find the silver lining in things. You gotta find the good. Oh, look at that. I still gotta sand it, but I love that. I love that. I am in love with this wrap the cord around the handle a few times. Well, if the cord was longer, I probably, that's probably a, the best, oh, thank you guys for the hearts. That's probably the best idea I've heard yet. But look, the cord's only, it's only this long. So, it's not very, that's it. The plug is right here. So, if I did that, I'd be, I'd have to, I, I don't, I don't think it would work. I don't think it would work. Thank you guys. Thank you for all the hearts. Thank you, Bethann, Tracy, Gina. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Last piece. Baker's breakfast cocoa. Does your iron get? Yes, it gets very hot. Oh, really, Nancy? Um, it's nice to see you. 
Aw. Thank you, Sheila. Thanks, Connie. Um, yeah, it gets really hot. It's get, it gets hot enough to iron a t-shirt. I mean, it would take you a while because it's small, but yeah. I've heard that, though. I've heard people have, like, faulty ones. Maybe it's like a luck of the draw if you get a good one or not. I mean, it's almost like a toy, really. It's what it is. They're so tiny. Hello, Debbie from Michigan. Oh, an extension cord. Shannon, you're you're brilliant. Why? Good job, Shannon. Good job. It's definitely a short card. But Shannon said get an extension cord. That's freaking brilliant. Why didn't we think of that, guys? Come on. Let's get it together, guys. I didn't think of it either. Woo. Woo wee. What am I doing here? We're a little short on that side. I can't see. Okay. Call that good. We'll call that good. And I got the cord that doesn't come out. So you got the iron that didn't get hot, but the iron the iron doesn't or the cord doesn't come out. Yeah, well, it's one or the other, right? <laughs> Triplet mom, mind over here. Oh, geez. So you're always overthinking everything. That's what I do. I overthink everything. <laughs> Where did I get the toolbox? Judy, I got this from Hobby Lobby a while ago. Whether or not you can still get them, I have no idea. Like, it was a while, while ago. I've been, I've been wanting to do something with it for a long time. I just couldn't make up my mind. Um, you get me fixed up. I couldn't make up my mind on what to do with it. I, uh, <laughs> I appreciate that, Lisa. Um, so, yeah, I finally settled on this paper. I had this really beautiful pink, shabby, chic-like rice paper. Yeah, I think it was rice paper. And um, I didn't have enough to make it all the way around. And then I was going to order more, and then I didn't, and just silly. What does it mean with the option to join? So would you like to be in scrapped? I have no idea, Laura. I get that sometimes when I'm on somebody else's video, too. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if... I don't know. I, I don't know. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I mean, if you hit it, would you be live with me? I, I don't, I don't know. I see that too. I don't see it on my end, but like when I'm watching other live crafters, I'll see that too. Purchased it at Toolbox, like you say a while ago. Got it in clearance events. Yeah, see, Jessica? I do that a lot, but I have to stop doing that because like I told you guys, I cannot, I cannot be buying more craft supplies. Now, if I go to a thrift store, I don't think that counts. Like, <laughs> find some goodies there, but hey, the Cresha. Um, I got to use up this stash. I got a lot of stuff that I'm undecisive about and I just, I got to make up my stinking mind and just, just do it. Just, just do it. Just get rid of this stuff. Start creating with all this beautiful stash you have. That's what I keep telling myself anyways. You've seen it too? Okay. My husband has an old one that belongs to Oh, jeez. That, see, an old one, I'd be struggling with that too. Cause it's it's hard to paint wood sometimes for me I mean because wood alone is so beautiful especially the older ones maybe do nothing with the older one or maybe just maybe just decoupage like you know you could just cut out like a little something and put it somewhere I know I don't know that's a tough one that's a tough one all right let me uh, iron this one on and then we'll I saw some awesome stuff that sit. what's the savers is that a store Know what savers is I just found that toolbox in hubby's garage guess who's losing the toolbox yeah go get it jennifer get it get it girl i'm iron without the cord it's still hot hot enough i'm just doing it to dry it not so much for the wrinkles i don't really care about the wrinkles and one of you would be on the end picture and it's like oh <laughs> that's funny Oh, it's a thrift store? Cool. Oh, really, Debbie? Huh. Maybe you should try it one day. I'll try it. Somebody wants to go live. Heck yeah, I'll do it. Savers is like a Goodwill. Oh! Um, my husband and I were talking. 
I got this stupid cord again. Um, there's a place we always go by and we're like, we're gonna stop there one day. It's a big thrift store. So I think we're gonna hit that. And um, that's it, I'm done with this cord. And then the other place is called the Skinny Wallet. Um, it used to be a little tiny place, but now she moved down the road, well, quite a ways down the road. And she's got a big place, so I wanna check it out. It's like a boutique. Tell yourself the same thing, you're under detail, oh jeez. I'm, I'm letting myself go to thrift stores or like little boutiques, like stuff like that I'm okay with, but I need to, I don't go to Dollar Tree a lot, but I definitely go to like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, stuff like that. Um, I just don't need anything else. I really, I need some glue sticks, but I mean, that's a given. I can get glue sticks, right? This is still damp, so I'm going to work on the other side. It's nice and dry. So yeah, that's my plan. No craft stores. No online craft stores. Just thrift stuff. Or yard sales. Flea markets. All that's good. All that I can allow myself. Your dollar Our do I just, I don't know. There's certain things I go there just for. There's a brand new one that opened up around the corner that I wouldn't mind going into just because it's it looks really nice. And it looks huge. Um, but the one near us, every time I go in there, I'm like, I'll never go back in here. And, um, yeah, I need to go. I I went to I went to Michael's um, the other day to get more storage bins, and um, they didn't have any. They had a sale and clearance on their glue, and they only had like the generic glue. I wanted the um, the Gorilla Glue, and they didn't have any at all. You put yourself on a budget when you go in there. You kind of have to. I mean, I go buck wild, man. If I want it, I get it. Like, it's bad. It's bad. But, on the other hand, I can justify it, because I only live once. <laughs> if you have the means and you can do it, then do it. But I mean, I don't need to be doing it because I don't, I have so much stuff in here that I need to use is really I found some great stuff. See, that's when it's exciting, Tina, when you find good, good stuff at a thrift store, especially like those old frames that got all those goodness around it. And I don't know what's going on here. Well, there we go. I don't want to tear it too much. There we go. So that seems coming together pretty nicely. There we go. I'm just gonna finish sanding the rest of it. That's all of our sides. Gotta sand that side still. I, I'm, I really, really love this. I'm in love. You spend too much on stuff. <laughs> well, good. As long as you're enjoying crafting, then that's all that matters. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. I just, I don't have any more stinking room. I got this place maxed, maxed out. And I have everything you could possibly think of to craft with. But then I get stuck. It's like, I don't I don't know what to make. <laughs> Thanks, my friend Connie. <laughs> See the video of people walking around these amazing stores and then I gotta walk out with nothing. Yeah. I think it's hit or miss. I love those days when you go shopping and it's like, everything is just on point like you, you're confident you want it you know you want it in the car it goes it's not like uh i don't know put it back i don't like those days i like it when you know it you nail it you bought enough stuff i, love I make the room yeah i, I hear you <laughs> oh my god that's funny go ahead on your lunch hour Woo! Okay. Well, at least you have a time limit, so you know you got to look and get out of there. I did try that strategy once with the Hobby Lobby. With Hobby Lobby. I went before they closed, and I brought my husband. But um, you're welcome, Diane. Thank you for watching. Um, but that didn't work out too good because I was too stressed because I was like, oh my God, am I holding my husband up? Oh my God, they're going to close. I can't look at everything. So thank you, Jessica. Um, 
Jessica, I don't know if I said hi to you. Um, no, this is Roy Cycled Paper, R-O-Y Cycled. Um, you can uh, Google it, and there's lots of people that sell it. You love those kind of, I do too, those are my favorite. Back to the kitchen table, because your craft room is full. Ah, ah, Lana, that's awesome. Oh, hey, do what you gotta do. Us crafters do what we gotta do. You like to make crafts you can use? I do too, but sometimes that just doesn't work out that way. I don't know. I try to think of stuff, you know, that could be year round and not seasonal and you can use it all the time, but it doesn't always work out in that, in that fashion. But, but making crafts that you can use all the time is definitely a great idea. If only it worked out that way each time. <laughs> Thank you, Elsie. I need to get this notification out of the way. It's driving me nuts. Here we go. Alright. Last side here, guys. Look at that perfect little string. And then this little weird corner, which I gotta snip it right here. I can't get in there to sand it. There we go. They could have went without this little corner. Well, I guess they couldn't, the way the box is. Alright. We got crumbs for days. Man, I got little papers everywhere. My hubby tells me to stop buying. This is all I have. Oh, he doesn't understand. Tell him he has no idea what he's talking about. No idea. How many husbands say, like, you'll put something in the cart or you'll bring something home and they'll say, what are you going to use that for? That's, like, the worst. Like, I look at them like, I'm going to craft with it. Like, I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but I love it. And, yeah. <laughs> Good night, Ari. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, Massachusetts, you have savers here as well. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Beth Ann. What will I put in it? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I'm gonna seal this, but I'll do that off camera. You guys know how to seal a Mod Podge. I mean, you know how to seal. If you don't, you just wipe just all over it and call it good. I already filled some up, but I have this little crate of stuff. I bought a bunch of these empty ones, so I wanna fill these with um, the stuff that I use the most, like my DIY patina. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, guys. He says, but it, as long as you, you're nice this week. <laughs> yeah, just tell him whatever he wants to hear, right? Um, so the, the stuff I use often, I want to put them in here. I got different size bottles. I got the, um, the smaller ones and then these ones. I got these at um, Michael's. But the lids kind of are hard to get on and off. I got this one. I think I got this one from Walmart, but it was the only one they had. And I like that the lid is attached because I do feel like, um, you just found me, Lori. Well, welcome. Sheila is my very good friend. And um, I hope you will become a friend of mine and follow and join us and we got a lot of awesome stuff coming up. We have an amazing bunch. Um, but these lids don't. And some of them are hard to get off. So, I don't know. So, yeah, I want to put them no special order. I don't know how many I need. But even, like, my glue that I can never find. Oh, see, I just took that top off. Because I think that um, you kind of really need the lids because your stuff would dry out. The only thing I can think is... Um, you could get like something to stick in there, like a, not a pin, not a pin, but something like that. See, I don't know what sizes fit in here and what don't. Yeah, I gotta mess around with it, but you know, you get the skinny. I mean, it's gonna hold quite a bit. Probably, maybe I got the right amount of bottles. I don't know. Let's see. My handy dandy mister. And lastly, that kind of fits alcohol I need to put this in a little spray bottle ribbon on each end no no ribbon you think ribbon like a uh, lace 
I'm not a big ribbon girl, but I like the ribbon lace, especially the Dollar Tree ribbon. That's like my favorite. Um, but yeah, it's gonna, you know, do that kind of doofiggy. I really like how this came out. I know I keep saying that, but sometimes, you know, you really like it and sometimes, yeah, like a thumbtack, Elsie. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see thumbtacks in my near future with these because I can see me flicking it off because they, they kind of have like a clip clip, like a, a lock. So when they're hard to get off, I can see it go flying and I'll never see it again. You can definitely see that happening. And I can also see the uh, marker rubbing off. So I could sell these. It could be a great sale. Um, Connie, would you like to buy this? It's on sale tonight for you for $39.99. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, thank you, Connie. Or Ju okay, Juba. Okay. I... I may jazz it up. I don't know. I'm kind of a plain Jane girl, but I don't know. It's just going to be housing these bottles. So the hug turned out. Thank you so much. Woo. Um, I can't wait to fill these up. See, I'm already lost a lid. There it is. There it comes. Oh, I love it. Mine is longer. Than oh, yours is longer? Oh, that's even better. Oh, yeah, they come in all different sizes. You're right. You're absolutely right. Hi, Jan. Did I say hi to you? Thank you, Jody. Yeah, I really like it. And even though I didn't get, you know, certain pictures in it, it still looks great. And I got a lot of paper left. I got all this other goodness. And now I can really not be afraid to cut it up and use it. So we got all that still. We still got all those uh, farm animals up there. I could see us using that for something. Yeah, I'm probably just going to keep it this way. I'm going to Mod Podge it up and... Uh, move on to something else and we still have this piece i never get used to this camera well, thank you guys so much i appreciate your time i hope you have the rest or the rest of your evening is amazing thank you for the hearts <laughs> thank you guys um i'm not sure when i'll be on next but probably saturday sunday i might take a gamble and uh, be on call and if i get called they gotta jump off is the worst that could happen but we'll see we'll see but all right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you soon. Bye, guys.